Hello everyone, I'm Felix from Shop3D and this is going to be the first part of a series about 3D printing metal. So let's get started with an overview. One of the most commonly asked questions that we get here at Shop3D is, can I 3D print metal? And for a very long time, our answer has been no. But with some recent developments, you can now 3D print metal on basically any FFF 3D printer out there, as long as you have an abrasive nozzle. The new metal filaments from Ultrafuse allow you to use your existing FFF 3D printer to manufacture metal parts. Before Ultrafuse, the cost of ownership of manufacturing metal parts was really high. You'd have to invest in expensive machinery and the infrastructure goes along with them, which would run you anywhere between a half million to a million dollars. With Ultrafuse, the cost of ownership is low because you can use any FFF 3D printer or the one you already own to manufacture these metal parts. You can now use Ultrafuse to manufacture those parts conveniently and affordably. So, how does this actually work? you still get a spool of filament that you'll be feeding into your 3D printer. The special thing about it is that this filament contains stainless steel powder bound together with a specific polymer that makes it into the shape. This is what allows it to be fed into any FFF 3D printer with an abrasive nozzle. Once you're done with printing, you get this uncentered green part that you'll be sending out for processing and get back a fully metal part. If you want to know more, stay tuned for our step-by-step -step guide from going from your initial idea to the final processed metal 3D printed part. Currently, there's only two metal filaments available, 316L and 174PH. We'll cover the differences between those in one of the separate videos in this series. So don't forget to subscribe to hear more about that. As always, hit the like button if you like this video and drop us a comment below if you have any questions. Until next time, I'm Felix.